Sometimes you feel like being dependable. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds. Sometimes you just wanna go for a drive. You know, it'd be a lot more fun if they had a better car. Chevy Impala. Welcome to the broadcast that's going to give you a close look at three of the best-selling, highest quality midsize cars available in the market today. Together, they accounted for more than 450,000 sales last year and are currently keeping the momentum going in Chevrolet showrooms across the nation. Of course, I'm talking about three of the best known names in all of American automotive history, the Chevrolet Malibu, Impala, and Monte Carlo. Hello everyone, I'm Linda Hurd, and we're so glad that you've joined us today because we really do have a lot of important news and information to share over the next hour. And to help me cover that information, I'd like to welcome Jim Campbell, Marketing Director for Impala and Monte Carlo. Linda, it's great to be here. We've got some great stories to tell on the Malibu, Impala, and Monte Carlo for 2003. And if you can give us the next 60 minutes, we're going to give you three great walk-arounds on these products. And I know you'll hear a few things you're going to want to share with your customers. Well, all right. Thanks, Jim. That sounds like a good reason for all of you to stay tuned. Let's take a quick look at what we'll be covering over the next hour. Jim will start us off with a look at the incredible opportunity the mid-size passenger car market holds and share some interesting information about Malibu, Impala, and Monte Carlo that you may not have known. Then Chevrolet field trainer Ron Schwartz will give us a solid walk around on Malibu. We'll follow that up with a comprehensive look at Impala and then wrap up the walk arounds with a thorough review of Monte Carlo. Let's get things started right now by setting the table for our walk around presentations and getting a good sense of how vital the mid-size market is. And to do that, I'm going to turn it over to Jim Campbell. Jim? Thanks, Linda. The mid-size passenger car market is one of the most important segments in the entire automotive market. The dynamic nature of our business means that new kinds of vehicles like crossovers and hybrids often make the headlines in the media on a daily basis. But the fact of the matter is that mid-size cars still make up the bread and butter of our sales. In fact, last year, mid-sized cars accounted for 3.9 million sales. That's about 22% of the entire automotive market, including trucks. Now, it's the single biggest segment in the entire automotive industry. On average, more than one in five people who walk into your dealership will be considering a mid-sized passenger car. And that's what I consider a huge opportunity. As Chevrolet sales consultants, your ability to capitalize on that opportunity is equally strong. In fact, with Malibu, Impala, and Monte Carlo, we have three high-volume, high-quality mid-size cars. And all three of them represent a profitable model line opportunity for you, your dealership, and Chevrolet. Let me put that kind of volume we're talking about into perspective. In the last full calendar year, Impala and Malibu represented two of the top ten best-selling cars in America. Impala was ranked number eight and accounted for over 208,000 sales. And Malibu was ranked number ten and accounted for over 176,000 sales. And although it wasn't in the top ten overall, Monte Carlo was the best-selling mid-size coupe in America, accounting for over 72,000 sales. Together, these three vehicles made up 457 1,574 sales, 
That means that more than one in every 10 mid-sized cars sold in America is a Chevy, either an Impala, Malibu, or Monte Carlo. Like I said, the volume and profit opportunity these three cars represent are huge. And taking a few minutes to brush up on your product presentation skills is one of the best ways to demonstrate the value to customers. Now, Jim, there's a second characteristic that all three of these vehicles have in common beyond their sales numbers, and that's their high quality ratings. And I know that if there's one thing that sales consultants like to do more than tell a good quality story, it's to sell one. So what kind of story do we have there? Actually, we've got an incredibly strong story when it comes to quality with these three models. And I will hope you'll share it with your customers. When you look at the entry mid-size car segment, Malibu ranked number one in J.D. Power's initial quality study, or what we call IQS. The IQS measures the number of problems per 100 vehicles. As you can see, Malibu finished best in its class with only 93 problems per 100 vehicles. That's much better than the segment average of 135 problems per 100 and well ahead of even the number two contender. I just want to take a minute and point out that on the quality study, as in the game of golf, the lower the number, the better the score. Communicating Malibu's high quality rating is a great way to build value. When we turn to the premium midsize segment, we've still got a strong story with two of the top five positions. In fact, Monte Carlo finished number two in the initial quality study and ahead of Honda Accord and Toyota Camry two vehicles that are well respected for their quality reputations. And Impala finished number four ahead of both the Toyota Camry and the Toyota Avalon. And I think that would surprise a lot of people and also might help persuade them to choose one of Chevy's three great midsize offerings. Well, that's definitely the kind of news I think a lot of our sales professionals will share with their customers. And I think you've done a great job of getting our audience ready to hear more about all three of Chevrolet's terrific midsize entries. So let's move into the next segment of our broadcast as we begin the product walk-around presentations with a look at the highest quality vehicle in the entry midsize segment, Chevy Malibu. We'll start off with a look at Malibu features you can present up front. Then we'll go under the hood to discuss drivetrain and reduced maintenance features. Our next stop will be at the side for a look at Malibu's suspension, wheels, and brakes. Then we'll move to the rear and wrap things up with a look at the interior features you'll want to be sure to include in any presentation. So now let's join regional trainer Ron Schwartz for a look at the 2003 Malibu. Malibu offers comfort, value, and style in a mid-size package that has been recognized by objective third parties as one of the best available on the market. In fact, Malibu received the best entry mid-size car in J.D. Power & Associates' 2002 initial quality study. Malibu is available in two distinctive models, the solid value of Malibu and the up-level Malibu LS. Our presentation vehicle today is a Malibu LS. Malibu's uncluttered styling starts with simple clean lines in the hood and continues into the distinctive flowing creases in the front and rear quarter panels. Even the contour of Malibu's sculpted headlamps carry through the lines and contours of the hood. But there's more up front to talk about than just good looks. For instance, Malibu uses reflector optic headlamps that help intensify the light and provide good visibility. Daytime running lamps provide added safety, and automatic lamp control uses a sensor in the dash to detect low light situations, and then automatically turns on the headlamps, tail lamps, and dash lamps so that you can see better and be seen by other drivers. Of course, for improved visibility in bad weather, Malibu LS features integral fog lamps as well. Both the front and rear windshields use solar ray tinted glass that helps decrease the sun's glare and blocks UV rays from entering the passenger compartment. Of course, the wet arm wipers up front do their part to keep the windshield clean and clear. The wiper mounted nozzles help distribute washer fluid precisely, regardless of the vehicle speed. And that's a look at the key features you'll want to cover and discuss up front on the Malibu. There's plenty of power under the hood on the Malibu. Even though many of its competitors offer a four-cylinder engine on their base models, both Malibu and Malibu LS have standard V6 power. Malibu's 3100 V6 engine with sequential fuel injection generates 170 horsepower, 
and 190 foot-pounds of torque, and yet still delivers an EPA-estimated 20 miles per gallon in the city and 29 on the highway. And when you talk about this V6 engine, don't forget to cover the transmission it's paired with. The electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive not only provides seamless shifts and quiet operation, but it has second gear start capability that comes in really handy on those slippery road conditions. By placing the shift selector into second gear from a standstill, it bypasses first gear and starts in second, improving traction and reducing the likelihood of wheel spin on most slippery surfaces. Malibu is also designed for quiet driving and operation. For added support and structural integrity, Malibu uses a hydroform steel engine cradle. Hydroforming is the same process used to produce the frame rails in a Corvette and the Silverado, so you know it's strong. Even the engine mounts contribute to smooth and quiet operation. They're hydraulic fluid filled, and they help isolate engine and transmission vibrations. The underhood blanket also contributes to great sound insulation. It all adds up to a vehicle that's quiet and pleasing to drive. Now before I close this hood, I want to point out several features that people always appreciate. These features that are designed to save them time and money. There's Dexcool Long Life Engine Coolant that's designed to last up to five years or 150,000 miles, whichever comes first and other components like platinum tip spark plugs and an accessory drive belt are designed to provide service for up to 100,000 miles before routine maintenance is needed. Of course, that's assuming normal driving conditions and drivers should always check their owner's manuals to see if their driving habits will require more frequent maintenance. And don't forget the filled for life transmission fluid. Under normal driving conditions, Dexron 3 transmission fluid doesn't require maintenance at all. But in severe driving applications, the fluid and filter should be changed every 50,000 miles. So between the strong running V6 engine, smooth shifting transmission, and reduced maintenance features, you've got some great news to share under Malibu's hood. When we're at the side of the Malibu, it's a great time to talk about brakes and suspension. But let's start with some of the more obvious features that make Malibu good looking. Perhaps you've already noticed the monochromatic mirrors as well as the door handles and the body side moldings. Of course, the body side moldings not only enhance Malibu's appearance, they also provide body protection from runaway shopping carts. Don't forget that Malibu's fold-away mirrors are less likely to be damaged when you're in a car wash or in a tight drive through And remote power adjustable mirrors are available on our Malibu and standard on our Malibu LS. Overall, Malibu has given great attention to finished details. This frame under glass door design is a perfect example. It has a smooth, clean seam where the window and door frame meet. That provides a nice finished look and diminishes wind noise. Now, just as great care was taken under the hood to use extensive sound deadening materials, the same care has been applied in the rocker panels and the bulkhead of the vehicle. Insulation used in these areas, as well as the thick glass used in the windshield, contribute to a quiet, refined passenger compartment. Now let's talk of some of the features that help Malibu perform so well on the road. Down here, we have 15-inch wheels and wide P215 tires, and they are standard on all Malibu models. Bolt-on full wheel covers are standard on Malibu, and our LS comes standard with aluminum wheels, which lend to its upscale appearance. This aluminum wheel also is available as an option on the Malibu. Those wheels are given stopping power by front disc and rear drum brakes with low mass aluminum brake calipers, and they help dissipate the brake heat quickly, and they are lower in weight than steel calipers. Of course, four-wheel anti-lock brakes are included on Malibu LS and available on Malibu. ABS helps reduce wheel lockup and maintain steering control in hard braking situations. To help guide you through the curves, Malibu uses rack and pinion steering and a four-wheel, fully independent suspension that's tuned to take advantage of Malibu's solid body structure. So, there are plenty of visible features to show on Malibu when you're at the side, and there's a solid mechanical and performance story as well. 
Malibu's functional and good-looking styling carries over to the rear. The large rear tail lamps make Malibu easily seen by vehicles driving behind it. The rear deck lid spoiler that's available on LS creates a sporty look that integrates the center high-mounted stop lamp into its design. You'll find more of Malibu's design wisdom inside the trunk. The trunk-mounted rear seatback releases allow you to load long items of cargo into the trunk. And the handles also help prevent thieves from gaining access to belongings inside the trunk from inside the cabin. And a trunk-mounted on-off switch further enhances security by deactivating the electric trunk release. And Malibu's generous 17.3 cubic feet of space is designed for easy access with bumper height loading and a flat load floor that makes loading and unloading the trunk as easy as possible. Rounding out the presentation at the rear are 5 mile per hour bumpers and a stainless steel exhaust which helps minimize rust and corrosion. There's a lot about Malibu's ergonomically designed interior that will impress your customers. The instrument panel and gauges are uncluttered and easy to read. And Malibu's controls are also easy to access. Turn signals, wiper, and headlamp controls are at your fingertips, as is the standard tilt steering wheel. The remote deck lid release is located with the driver in mind. It's on the left side of the instrument panel. Even the location of the panel-mounted ignition switch to the right of the steering wheel was carefully planned for added convenience. And Malibu's pass-lock theft deterrent system means that if the correct key isn't used to start the vehicle, the system automatically disables the fuel system. Of course, power windows with an express down feature for the driver and power door locks are also available. By the way, Malibu also has lockout protection. When the key is left in the ignition and the driver door is open, the power lock switch will not work. That's a thoughtful feature that will help you or keep you from key locking your keys in the vehicle. When it comes to radios, there's a standard AM FM stereo with CD player that includes seek and scan, digital clock, and four speakers. And there's also an AM FM stereo with CD and cassette player. That includes radio data system, seek and scan, digital clock, auto tone control, speed compensated volume, theft lock, and four speakers. Of course, regardless of which Malibu we're looking at, they both have rear seat heat ducts that provide airflow, and it makes the rear passengers just as comfortable as the folks up front. And finally, for your customers who travel with small children, there's the top tether anchors for child safety seats. These are located on the rear deck shelf in each of the three rear seating positions, and they're designed to accept the latest in child seats. Well, that gives you a good overview of Malibu's interior and all of the Malibu. You can see why this well-equipped mid-size sedan has the look and feel usually associated with more expensive cars. When you consider everything that Malibu has to offer, inside and out, it's easy to see why it's such a smart buy. That's a good look at some of the key features you can present on Malibu with your own customers. Now in just a minute, we'll get into the walk-around portion of Impala. But first, I'm going to turn it over to Jim to bring us up to speed on some significant news you can watch for on Impala and Monte Carlo in 2003. So, Jim, what should we know as we head into the new model year? Well, we've got some great news to share in the way of product features and production capacity. There's quite a bit new on both Impala and Monte Carlo in the way of feature availability and packaging for 2003. And you'll want to be sure to check your product library and dealer order guide for the details. Before we get into the walk-arounds, I want to highlight a pair of advanced technologies you can offer on Impala and Monte Carlo that your competition can match. And that's the XM Satellite Radio and OnStar. Now, XM Satellite Radio is available on the Impala and Monte Carlo models for 2003. And it uses two satellites to beam 100 channels of digital audio programming from coast to coast. And you can order it by selecting RPO U2K. Then with a small activation fee and a monthly subscription of $9.99 per month, your customers will have access to 100 channels of programming 24 hours a day. If you want to know a lot more about how XM works, 
the kind of programming available, and even hear some samples of the programming, be sure to visit the XM Radio website at xmradio.com. Now for 2003, OnStar is also now available on Impala and Monte Carlo models. When OnStar is selected, you'll get one year of the safe and sound service, which includes emergency assistance services, airbag deployment notification, accident assist, stolen vehicle tracking, remote diagnostics, remote door lock and unlock, remote vehicle alert, online concierge services, virtual advisor, and personal calling access. Of course, after the first year, the safe and sound services can be renewed. Now, I know a lot of you may already be familiar with OnStar from ve other vehicle lines, but it's hard to overplay how valuable this feature can be. In fact, OnStar recently put together a very compelling video that lets customers speak for themselves. So why don't we take a look at that tape now? <laughs> In airbag deployment situations, customers have called back to express that they are very grateful. Customers have even said that they thought an angel was talking to them on the line. My name is Rick Corshane. It was a nice, warm weather day, sunny. Oh, sir, emergency. This is Timothy. Is there an emergency in your vehicle? Yes, there has been. Okay, right now I have you on Interstate 84. Somebody came across the other line. Okay. Give me one moment, I'll contact police and send them out to your location. Okay. I was knocked out. Uh, that guy uh, calling my name uh, brought me to the point where at least I was, you woke up. Middlebury Police and Fire Dispatcher, Roy. Yes, my name is Timothy. I'm from Monster. I'd like to report a vehicle crash on Interstate 84, just east of Longmeadow Road and Middlebury, Connecticut. I do have him on the other line, and I can conference him in if you like. Yes, please. Okay. Hello, sir? Hello, Hello this is Dispatch Roy from the Middlebury Police Department. You have an accident you're reporting? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, is there anybody hurt out there? Yes, I am. I'm injured. How badly? Uh, I'm down into the woods. My car is totaled. I'm bleeding. I don't know how bad. The state police have it, and we'll have the fire department responding, too. If I didn't have somebody there telling the state police that, you know, he's in the woods somewhere, uh, it would have been a while, I think, before somebody would have looked over the side and, and saw that there was a car. Vehicle off the road into the woods. Party is injured. In the 84 eastbound near the Long Meadow overpass. I am on the phone with the complainant at this time. Okay, there is state police there. Okay, we'll have the fire department and the ambulances continue. They'll be helping you both as soon as possible, okay? Yeah, thanks. Thank you, right. sir. Thank Up you, sir. OnStar. It's an option that um, could save your life, plain and simple. I've had a lot of situations when, the, when there's a baby locked in the vehicle. Where they accidentally lock their baby in the vehicle and they call us frantic. And then a few minutes later, the doors are unlocked and they have their baby out. That's a great feeling. My dog, Ruby, locked me and my other dog out of the car. Somebody stepped on the lock. <laughs> when I called and I explained that my, my 10-month-old Cocker Spaniel was in the car and that the car was running and my keys and everything were in, I was very impressed. The very first question out of their mouth was, is she OK and is there anything that we can do? That, being a dog lover, that was very important to me. And a couple minutes later, they zapped us open and we got in the car and drove off home. Ruby and Roxy are most definitely our children. Just knowing that it's there is, is, is very comforting. Thanks, by the way, for bringing us up to speed on those new features, Jim. But I know you also have some news that can ultimately impact the number of sales our audience makes. So what's in store for the 2003 model year? Well, we've recently added a third shift of production at our Oshawa assembly facility to allow us to significantly increase Impala production. In fact, through the last four months of 2002, we plan to build about 15,500 more Impalas than we did during the same time period last year. We also expect to build about 50,000 more Impalas in the 2003 calendar year than we did in 2002. Now, that means we should have excellent availability including parts of the country that maybe haven't had as many Impalas as they would have liked to have in the past. You should start seeing the additional Impala availability this month. 
and together we'll be setting new sales records month by month as we progress through the year. So with the product refinements for 2003, the great quality story I told you about earlier, and our ability to expand production significantly in the coming year, we're all well positioned to enjoy even greater sales success in 2003. Well, thanks for the update, Jim. And with that, we're ready for a closer look at some of the key selling features you can present on Impala with your own customers. And we'll do that again with a five-position walk-around that starts right up front, moves you around the vehicle, and finishes up inside. Now, let's go back to Ron for a look at Impala. Impala really offers a great blend of contemporary styling and traditional heritage. There are two distinct models in the lineup. The first is Impala, and it delivers tremendous room, comfort, and value for the dollar. The second is Impala LS, and it builds on that foundation and offers added power, performance, comfort, and convenience. My presentation vehicle today is an Impala LS. Right up front, you'll notice Impala's prominent bow tie and bold horizontal crossbar. It ties it in with the rest of the Chevrolet family. There's more to talk about up front, though, than just good looks. Impala features an intelligently designed lamp system that's focused on safety and convenience. Impala's modular headlamp assembly integrates high beams, low beams, and signal lamps into a single unit that's covered by a composite lens. The lens helps protect the lamp against stone chips and road debris. Now, standard daytime running lamps make you more easily seen by running the amber turn signal lamps during the day. And automatic lamp control uses a low light sensor in the dash to automatically turn off the daytime running lamps and turn on the headlamps, tail lamps, and dash lamps when it gets dark automatically. On LS models, the lower front fascia features standard integral fog lamps that are designed to cut through the fog without providing excessive glare to oncoming traffic. And there are a couple of more items worth pointing out while we're at the front. Wet arm windshield wipers use nozzles on the wiper arm to distribute fluid more precisely and evenly, even at higher speeds. And Impala uses solar ray tinted glass for the front and rear windshields. And that helps reduce the amount of glare and heat that enters the passenger cabin. And that's a look at the key features that you'll be sure to want to talk about up front on the Impala. A big part of Impala's image stems from its tradition of delivering solid performance in a comfortably sized vehicle. Impala continues that tradition with its total performance system. And that's something that you'll hear from me refer to throughout the presentation today. The total performance system is a group of four vehicle systems beginning with Impala's V6 engines and also including its rigid body structure, tuned suspension, and four-wheel disc brakes. All Impalas offer plenty of power underneath the hood. The standard Impala engine is a 3.4 liter V6 engine that generates 180 horsepower and 205 foot-pounds of torque, delivering strong and smooth acceleration. Yet, even with power like that, Impala still gets about 21 miles per gallon in the city and 32 highway. In fact, the 3400 has the best V6 highway fuel economy in its class. If you're looking for even more power, a 3.8 liter V6 is standard on Impala LS and available as an option on Impala. The 3800 produces 200 horsepower and 225 foot-pounds of torque with little compromise in fuel economy. The 3800 gets up to 19 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon in the highway. And to put that in perspective, the 3800 out accelerates the Camry SE V6 and still gets better fuel economy. There are two other components of the total performance system that you can also point out underneath the hood. The first one is pretty easy to see. It's the strut tower to tower brace that's a steel bar that literally bridges the two strut towers underneath the hood. This design, inspired from racetrack applications, and actually creates a more rigid vehicle structure for better handling and control. The second is Impala's aluminum engine cradle down here that serves as a foundation for mounting the engine. 
The aluminum engine cradle is a Chevrolet exclusive. It's lighter and stiffer than steel, and it allows more precise tuning of the engine. Impala is also designed to save its buyers money and maintenance. In fact, a study has shown that Impala owners spend less than half as much on scheduled maintenance as Camry owners during the first 60,000 miles of operation. That's because all Impalas have long life engine coolant that's designed to last up to five years or 150,000 miles before changing. The Dexron 3 transmission fluid lasts up to 100,000 miles before changing, and the spark plugs, ignition system, and accessory drive belt are also designed to last 100,000 miles before needing maintenance. Of course, that's assuming routine driving conditions, and drivers should always see their owner's manual to see if their driving habits will require more frequent maintenance. Finally, don't forget to mention Impala's coolant loss protection. It's intended to help drivers reach service if engine coolant is lost on the road. In the event of coolant loss, the engine alternates the cylinder firing sequence to help prevent overheating and lets the vehicle drive up to 50 miles without coolant. The last thing you want to talk about at this position is the fact that all Impalas have a standard four-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. It adjusts shift points and line pressure for individual driving characteristics and delivers smooth and responsive shifts. And Impala offers full function traction control as well, which reduces wheel spin by reducing engine power, upshifting the transmission, and applying brakes to the spinning wheels to help you regain traction. Traction control is standard on Impala LS and available on Impala as is included with ABS brakes for 2003. There's plenty to discuss when you're at the side of the Impala, and it goes well beyond the vehicle's good looks. Power heated rear view mirrors using a heating element that's activated when the rear window defogger is on. The power heated mirrors are available on Impala and standard on Impala LS. The side is also a good place to first mention Impala's room first design, which makes maximum use of available cabin space. The long 110.5 inch wheelbase contributes to a smooth ride and allowed designers to move the wheels out to the corners of the vehicle. This helps provide more room inside, as well as a better ride and handling experience. All Impalas feature large 16-inch wheels and tires with a wide P225 tread to also contribute to its ride and handling. As far as wheels go, there are several to choose from. Steel wheels with a bolt-on wheel cover are standard on Impala sedan. For 2003, the PYO custom aluminum wheels are available on sedan with 1SB and are standard on Impala sedan with 1SC. On the LS, sport five-spoke aluminum wheels are now standard. No matter which Impala you're discussing, massive four-wheel disc brakes can be found behind the wheels and they help dissipate heat buildup and reduce brake fade. In fact, the front discs are 303 millimeters in diameter and the rear discs are 278 millimeters. The large four-wheel discs are another total performance system component that's definitely worth mentioning. Four-wheel anti-lock brakes are standard on Impala LS and available on Impala. And as you know, ABS uses sensors in the wheels to detect lockup and automatically pulses the brakes to allow driver to maintain steering control during hard braking conditions. Impalas equipped with ABS also feature the tire inflation monitoring system. This system uses ABS to help alert the driver if one of the wheels is rotating at a different speed from the other wheels, signaling improper tire pressure. Now, Impala also features rack and pinion steering, which helps deliver responsive steering and a solid feel on the road. Now the side of the Impala is also a great place to review another key total performance system component, and that's the fully independent front and rear suspension design. The fully independent design allows each wheel to react individually to road surfaces without transmitting bumps to another wheel. Up front, uh, Impala's McPherson struts that are specifically, uses McPherson struts rather, that are specifically tuned for each model. Impala's touring suspension is tuned for exceptionally smooth ride. 
For more spirited handling, a sport touring suspension is available on Impala and standard on Impala LS. The sport touring suspension uses higher spring rates for crisper cornering and handling. At the rear, a Tri-Link independent suspension uses three control arms at each wheel for outstanding suspension geometry and to allow the wheels to better absorb impacts. So when you combine its rack and pinion steering with the fully independent suspension, 16-inch wheels and tires, and large four-wheel disc brakes, it's easy to see why Impala is designed to deliver comfortable, spirited performance experience on the road. There's plenty worth pointing out at the rear of the Impala as well. The rear windshield has several functional features, including the solar ray glass I mentioned earlier, to help reduce the amount of UV rays entering the interior. The rear windshield also houses an integrated radio antenna, which uses metal strips in the rear glass to provide AM and FM radio reception. And of course, it features a rear defogger to help clear the windshield on cold or damp days. Moving down the vehicle, a rear deck lid spoiler is standard on Impella LS and adds to the overall sporty look. But perhaps the most distinguishing characteristic of the Impala is its retro round tail lamp treatment that really harkens back to some of the very first Impalas ever built. All Impalas have a standard aluminized stainless steel exhaust system that helps resist rust and corrosion and adds longer life. Now, let's talk about one of Impala's most appealing selling features, and that's its significant cargo space. Impala features a standard remote keyless entry and power deck lid release, which provides easy access to the trunk. Impala's low liftover height and wide opening provide easy access to the large 18.6 cubic foot trunk space. Gas strut trunk supports are used so that they won't intrude into the cargo area or more importantly, crush your cargo. A 60-40 split fold rear seat is available on Impala and standard on Impala LS for added cargo loading versatility to let you carry longer items without leaving the trunk open. So as you can tell, there's plenty to talk about at the rear of the Impala when it comes to both good looks and functionality. Inside the Impala really has a lot to offer in the way of room, comfort, and convenience. This is also the perfect place to come back to Impala's room-first design that I mentioned earlier because it's where people really notice how spacious the interior is. Impala offers a choice of five passenger seating with available front bucket seats or Impala can seat up to six passengers with the 60-40 split front bench seat. Leather seats are also available as are heated seats for the ultimate in personalized comfort settings. And as you might expect, power windows and driver's express down feature and power door locks are standard. Impala ha also has a lockout protection feature. With lockout protection, if the driver's door is open while the keys are still in the ignition, the power door lock switch won't allow the door to be locked, helping prevent the keys from being locked in the vehicle. Of course, the door locks are also programmable and have four modes to meet different preferences. Impala features a standard tilt wheel and the wheel itself is designed to provide comfort and good visibility of the instrumentation. Impala also offers available steering wheel radio controls and when steering wheel controls are ordered, a leather wrapped steering wheel is included. Helping to support the steering column, instrument panel, and other components is something called the mag beam. Now, you can't see it, but it's a magnesium beam that runs the width of the vehicle from A pillar to A pillar. The mag beam helps reduce vibration that can occur over time in the IP area and helps improve Impala structure. It's another total performance system component that contributes to Impala's solid feel and outstanding ride and handling. Impala's instrumentation and gauges feature bold graphics that are easy to read and the driver message center can display 17 vehicle messages and important information. For instance, it will let you know if your trunk's ajar or electronic traction control is engaged, if you have low washer fluid or if it's time to change your oil. Impala also offers a great selection of sound systems that offer AM-FM stereo and CD and cassette players. 
but there are a couple of features worth pointing out here. For example, all Impala sound systems feature RDS, or Radio Data System Technology. RDS receives digital transmissions from radio stations that allow the display of radio station call letters, music format, the artist and song name, traffic information, and much more. A premium sound option is also available and features a 200 watt sound system with auxiliary amplifier that uses special dynamic processing to increase dynamic impact and produces lush, clear sounds at low levels. Another great audio feature that's available on Impala is XM Satellite Radio. XM offers 100 channels of available digital radio programming from coast to coast, and the channels provide limited or no commercial interruptions. Now, if you order an Impala with XM, there is a subscription price of $9.95 per month, and the service does need to be activated to receive XM programming. All models feature standard air conditioning and standard dual zone climate controls which let you select two distinct temperature settings. Impala also has an incredibly strong safety story to tell as well. It received the highest possible score or a five star rating for the driver and front passenger during frontal crash testing by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Standard driver and right front passenger airbags are also part of the safety story and provide added passenger protection in the event of a collision. A driver side impact airbag is also available for added protection. Three point safety belts are used at all three rear seating positions and at both front outboard positions. Now since Impala can appeal to growing families, it also features the latch system. LATCH stands for Lower Anchors and Tethers for Children, and it includes lower anchors and top tethers to assist in attaching the latest child safety seats. Impala also offers the added security and convenience of OnStar, which is available on all models. When OnStar is selected on Impala, you get one year of safe and sound package which offers automatic airbag deployment notification, stolen vehicle tracking, and a host of other services. Of course, OnStar can be renewed after the first year. An electrochromatic inside rear view mirror and map lights are included with the mirror group. So, no matter how you look at it, inside or out, Impala's features all add up to create a great sedan with plenty of style, performance, room, comfort, and value. And that concludes a thorough walk around of the 2003 Impala. And now that we've shown you what makes Impala stand out in the medium midsize sedan market, it's time to turn our attention to a nameplate whose mere mention will get you thinking about race day and spirited driving. Of course, I'm talking about Monte Carlo. So let's take a look at what makes Monte Carlo one of the most distinctive cars in today's market. And we'll do that again with a five position presentation that takes us up front, moves us all the way around Monte Carlo, and wraps it up inside. So right now, let's go back to Ron for his final presentation of the day. There are two distinctive models in the Monte Carlo lineup, and the choices are sure to appeal to a diverse customer base. The Monte Carlo LS offers a great blend of power and luxury, while the Monte Carlo SS makes the most of its heritage as the winningest car in NASCAR Winston Cup history. My presentation vehicle today is a Monte Carlo SS. Regardless of which model you're looking at, Monte Carlo styling is an exhilarating combination of fire and finesse, smooth lines that are accented with dramatic details. In fact, it's safe to describe this vehicle as classy with a wild streak. While there are plenty of nuances to make Monte Carlo unmistakably Chevrolet, you'll have to admit that it has the look and styling that's all its own. And while Monte Carlo's race-inspired looks may be the first thing you notice, there's a lot more to talk about up front than just good looks. For instance, Monte Carlo's reflector optic headlamps provide a very bright and effective light pattern and add a jeweled look to the front of the car. Daytime running lamps help to reduce the risk of collision by making Monte Carlo more visible to approaching drivers in daylight. 
An automatic lamp control uses a low light sensor in the dash to automatically turn off the daytime running lamps and turn on the headlamps, the tail lamps, and dash lights in low light conditions. Monte Carlo features a lower front fascia for added sportiness and effective aerodynamic management. SS models incorporate integral fog lamps into the lower front fascia and they help cut through the fog without providing excessive glare to oncoming traffic. There are more items worth pointing out while we're at the front. Wet arm windshield wipers. Use nozzles on the wiper arm to distribute fluid more precisely and evenly, even at higher speeds. And then there's solar ray tinted glass that helps reduce the amount of glare and heat entering the passenger cabin, as well as helping to reduce fabric fade. Finally, up front you'll want to mention that Monte Carlo's good looks are the result of its five-step paint process. Its extensive anti-corrosion measures help provide a corrosion protection warranty that's good for six years or 100,000 miles. And remember, Monte Carlo uses two-sided galvanized steel on all exterior body panels except the roof. And that's a look at the key features you'll want to be sure to discuss up front on the Monte Carlo. As you might expect, with Monte Carlo's strong racing heritage, we've got a great story to tell right here under the hood. Contributing to the total driving experience is Monte Carlo's Total Performance System. It's a group of four vehicle systems that creates a precisely engineered blend of powertrain, chassis, and structural components to give buyers the kind of performance they expect from Monte Carlo. Of course, it starts with plenty of power under the hood. The standard LS engine is a 3.4 liter V6 that generates 180 horsepower and 205 foot-pounds of torque, delivering powerful and smooth acceleration. For buyers looking for even more power, a 3.8 liter V6 is standard on Monte Carlo SS. This engine produces 200 horsepower and 225 foot-pounds of torque with little compromise to fuel economy. It's also important to note that the 3800 delivers smooth, refined, and quiet operation across a broad torque band for impressive acceleration with plenty of power in reserve for merging or passing. There are two other components of the total performance system you can also point out right here under the hood. The first is the front strut tower to tower brace. It's a steel bar that bridges the two shock towers under the hood to create a more rigid structure. The second is a Chevrolet exclusive. The extruded aluminum engine cradle down here. It's lighter and more rigid than steel and it resists corrosion. It provides a rigid and lightweight mounting platform for the engine, front suspension and steering components. The cradle features a high strength to weight ratio while adding the benefit of tremendous stiffness for aggressive handling characteristics, all the while without an uncomfortable ride. Other great features you'll definitely want to discuss under the hood are the ones that can translate into time and money savers for your customers. Monte Carlo has long life engine coolant right here and it's designed to last up to five years or 150,000 miles before changing. Dexron 3 transmission fluid lasts up to 100,000 miles before changing. And the spark plugs, ignition system, and accessory drive belt are also designed to last up to 100,000 miles before needed maintenance. Of course, that's assuming routine driving conditions, and drivers should always see the owner's manual to see if their driving habits will require more frequent maintenance. And don't forget to mention Monte Carlo's coolant loss protection. It's designed to prevent potential engine damage by helping the driver reach a, a service facility if engine coolant is lost. It alternates the cylinder firing order, helping to keep the engine cool while reducing the chance of engine damage. Now depending on load, temperature, and speed, a driver can operate the vehicle up to 50 miles after loss of coolant. Another feature that can save a lot of time and help prevent a lot of inconvenience is battery rundown protection. After 20 minutes to help prevent a dead battery, it turns off any interior lights that may have been left on. 
Now the last thing you want to talk about at this position is the fact that all Monte Carlos have a standard four-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. It adjusts shift points for individual driver characteristics and delivers smooth and responsive shifts. Now, even the axle ratios are designed to give each Monte Carlo model a different feel behind the wheel. LS models use a 2.86 axle ratio, and the SS models feature a 3.29 axle ratio that delivers a little sportier feel and a lot of extra performance off the line. And for added control on slippery driving conditions, full function traction control is standard on Monte Carlo SS and available on the LS. The traction control system reduces wheel spin by reducing the engine power, upshifting the transmission, and applying brakes to the spinning wheels to help you regain traction. And that's a look at the key stories up front, under the hood, on the Monte Carlo. The side of the car is a great place to continue Monte Carlo's styling story, and then move on to some performance features you'll find under the skin. Monte Carlo's sleek flowing lines and low sloping hood line are even more apparent here. A one-piece door ring provides structural rigidity and uniform build quality, a key reason why Monte Carlo has such a quiet ride and solid feel on the road. Moldings include a standard colored keyed body side on both LS and SS, and down below, lower rocker moldings add to Monte Carlo's sporty look. The rocker moldings are charcoal on the LS and body color on the SS. Power-operated outside rear view mirrors are standard on all models. And when the mirror group is selected, the mirrors are also heated. The heating element operates on the same system as the rear window defogger and helps to clear the mirrors on damp or cold mornings. Now Monte Carlo rides on a 110.5 inch wheelbase and both models feature standard 16 inch wheels and tires. Both LS and SS use wide P225 60R16 tires. The Goodyear Eagle GA Touring tires are standard on the LS, and Eagle RSA Performance tires are standard on the SS. Of course, there are five wheel choices, and all of them are good looking, ranging from the base level bolt-on wheel covers to a choice of four cast aluminum wheels. Now, regardless of which Monte Carlo you're discussing, Massive four-wheel disc brakes dissipate heat very well and reduce brake fade. A specially designed brake cooling duct directs the flow of cool air directly onto the front rotors and calipers. This combination of large surface and cooling vanes helps the brakes resist overheating and resulting brake fade. The large four-wheel disc brakes are another total performance system component that's definitely worth mentioning. Now, anti-lock brakes are standard on SS and available on LS. ABS uses sensors in the wheels to detect lockup and automatically pulses the brakes to allow the driver to maintain steering control during hard braking conditions. This is also a great place to review another key total performance system component, and that's the Monte Carlo's fully independent suspension. The suspension design isolates vibration and road inputs at each wheel and allows it to act independently of the others. Up front, there's an independent design with McPherson struts that are specifically tuned for the Monte Carlo. At the rear, a Tri-Link independent suspension uses three control arms at each wheel for outstanding suspension geometry and to allow the wheels to better absorb impacts. Each model has been specifically tuned to match the vehicle's character. The LS features the ride and handling suspension that delivers a smooth ride and blends it with responsive handling. The SS features the sport suspension, which is tuned for a more aggressive handling and performance-oriented driving. And Monte Carlo's lubricated for life suspension system means that both the front and rear suspensions are designed to never need lubrication. Now there's, still the, now there's still the need to fill up the fuel tank, of course, but the 17-gallon fuel tank gives Monte Carlo a long driving range between fill-ups. And the EPA estimated figure of 32 miles per gallon on the highway for the Monte Carlo LS gives it a range of up to 544 miles.
So, when you consider Monte Carlo's fully independent suspension, its massive four-wheel disc brakes, and 16-inch wheels and tires, you can see how it's taken a few cues from the track to, and, and helped make everyday driving fun and sporty. Monte Carlo's race-inspired styling continues at the rear of the car. All Monte Carlo SS models feature a rear spoiler, and with the SS High Sport appearance package, you'll notice that the Monte Carlo's rear deck lid spoiler is race-inspired through many years as a NASCAR dominator. All Monte Carlos also have a distinctive tail lamp treatment with round, three-dimensional crystalline rear lamps. The Illumini stainless steel exhaust system uses corrosion-resistant materials that help the system resist rust and corrosion. Monte Carlo is also one coupe that doesn't compromise on cargo space. You can access the cargo space with the standard remote keyless entry or the power deck lid release. Instead of protruding trunk hinges, gas strut trunk supports are used so that they won't interfere with the cargo area or more importantly, crush precious, precious cargo. And the trunk's low liftover height and 15.7 cubic feet make this a user-friendly trunk all around. And last but not least, from this position, there is a standard split fold down rear seat in a 60-40 design that operates easily from the back of the seats and provides plenty of flexibility and expanded cargo volume. So, as you can see, there's much to talk about at the rear of the Monte Carlo when we're talking about functionality and great looks. Inside is where people will get a good sense of Monte Carlo's room-first design. Although Monte Carlo is a coupe, it still offers plenty of room and comfort for up to five adult passengers. And the seats are a big part of the comfort story. Both Monte Carlo models feature standard bucket seats for added style and comfort. And on SS models, a driver's side lumbar support adjuster is included. Of course, leather seating surfaces and a six-way power adjustable driver's seat are also available. And if you've already selected leather seating surfaces and a power driver's seat, you can add the seating comfort package, which includes a six-way power passenger seat and heated front seats for both the driver and passenger. And as you might expect, power windows and power door locks are also standard. Monte Carlo also has a lockout protection feature. With lockout protection, if the driver's door is open while the keys are still in the ignition, the power door lock switch will not allow the door to be locked, helping prevent the keys from being locked in the car. Of course, the door locks are also programmable and have modes to meet different preferences. Now, let's talk about your view from behind the wheel. Monte Carlo features a standard tilt steering wheel and the wheel itself is designed to provide comfort and good visibility of the instrumentation. Monte Carlo also offers available steering wheel radio controls that mean you don't have to take your hands off the wheel to change the radio volume or station. And when steering wheel controls are ordered, a leather wrapped steering wheel is included. Now Monte Carlo's mag beam construction helps support the steering column, instrument panel and other components and helps reduce vibration that can occur over time in the IP area. It also helps improve Monte Carlo's overall structure. While we're here at the instrument panel, I want to point out the race inspired gauge cluster. The gauges lie in different planes within the sealed module. This effect allows the gauges to be read and understood quickly and easily, especially in nighttime driving situations. These gauges use stepper motor technology instead of the conventional cable driven gauges for excellent response and accuracy. Notice the round dials and a speedometer that is scaled to 140 miles per hour. <laughs> As I said, it's race inspired. For peace of mind, the driver message center right here displays messages and vital information. For instance, it will let you know if your door is ajar, the trunk's open, if electronic traction control is engaged or not, or if it's time to change your oil. It even gives you information on the tire inflation monitoring system. The tire inflation monitoring system is included with ABS and works in conjunction with the anti-lock brake system to detect when a tire isn't revolving at the same speed as others. 
and the driver message center will allow you, or excuse me, alert you if that is happening. Now, let's look at some of the sound systems for a minute. Monte Carlo has a standard AM FM stereo cassette with Theflock and six speakers that provide great sound. Theflock uses a secret code to disable all radio functions if the radio is removed, and that renders it useless to would-be thieves. There is also the available six-speaker premium sound system with CD or CD with cassette. With this system, the speakers are located in four different positions inside the automobile and work with a 200-watt auxiliary amplifier. Digital sound processing lets you select settings that provide optimal sound quality for the type of music that you are listening to. Another feature worth mentioning is Radio Data System, or RDS. RDS enables Monte Carlo drivers to see radio station call letters, music format, the artist and song name, traffic information, and emergency weather warnings. One thing to remember is that the radio station has to be broadcasting RDS information for the radio to receive it, and not all stations and markets are currently broadcasting RDS information. But stay tuned. A lot more radio stations will soon be broadcasting RDS information. Another audio feature that's available on the Monte Carlo is XM Satellite Radio. XM is a subscription-based radio format that offers an expansive choice of entertainment. In fact, 100 channels of digital quality broadcast programming are available with limited or no commercial interruptions, depending on the station. In addition to a huge selection of musical programming, there's news, comedy, and sports channels, <laughs> including the NASCAR channel, which is sure to be a big hit with your Monte Carlo buyers. All Monte Carlos feature a standard dual zone climate control. A climate control system with air conditioning that lets the driver and passenger set the temperature levels they each prefer. Monte Carlo also has a great safety story to tell as well. In fact, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has given Monte Carlo a five-star rating for frontal crashes for both the driver and front passenger. And that's the highest rating that you can get. Now, a lot of factors go into a good crash test performance, but don't forget that Monte Carlo features standard driver and front passenger airbags, and an available driver side impact airbag can help e offer even more protection in the event of a side impact collision. Three-point safety belts are used at all five seating positions, and of course, Monte Carlo also features the latch system, which stands for lower anchors and tethers for children. Now the system includes lower anchors and top tethers to assist in attaching the latest child safety seats. But Monte Carlo's safety and security doesn't end there. For instance, the PassLock 2 theft deterrent system will temporarily shut down Monte Carlo's fuel system if you try to start the car without the correct key. And of course, all models, all models rather, offer the added security and convenience of OnStar, which includes one year of safe and sound service. Now, there is one more feature I want to mention on Monte Carlo, and I have to admit, it's just plain fun. And that's the available power sunroof. The deep tinted panel slides open by pressing a button in the overhead console and it stores above the roof to maximize headroom and still let the sun shine right in. Well, there you have it folks. Whether you're outside the vehicle, under the skin or inside, there's a great story to tell with Monte Carlo. Well, there you have it. A good look at the street version of the winningest car in NASCAR history, the Chevrolet Monte Carlo as well as a good review of Impala and Malibu, courtesy of Ron Schwartz. And as promised, over the last hour, we've given you a lot of great information you can use with your customers. So let's quickly recap the key stories. We started today off with Jim Campbell showing us the incredible opportunity the 3.9 million unit mid-sized passenger car market represents, and how that means that more than one in every five people in the market for a new vehicle of any kind will buy a mid-sized car. We also saw that you're in a great position to capitalize on that opportunity because Chevrolet has three of the best-selling, highest quality entries in the midsize segment. Malibu sold more than 176,000 units last year, 
and was ranked number one in the J.D. Power Entry Midsize Car Initial Quality Study. Impala accounted for well over 200,000 sales last year and was ranked number four, ahead of Toyota Camry and Avalon in the Premium Midsize Initial Quality Study. And Monte Carlo was the best-selling midsize coupe with more than 72,000 sales and ranked number two ahead of Camry, Avalon, and Accord in the IQS. Now, just those facts alone would have given you some great ammunition on the sales floor. But then we gave you a solid walk-around presentation on each of those vehicles. In Malibu, we saw how its 170 horsepower 3100 V6 is combined with an independent suspension, 15-inch wheels and tires, solid brake design featuring aluminum calipers, and a host of comfort and convenience features to produce the best entry midsize car in J.D. Power & Associates 2002 Initial Quality Study. Then we moved on to Impala and saw how this top-selling sedan really performs where it counts, thanks in large part to its total performance system components. Under the hood, we heard about the choice of two strong-running V6s, the 3400 that generates 180 horsepower and the 3800 that delivers 200 horses and 225 foot-pounds of torque. Of course, Impala's fully independent suspension, 16-inch wheels and tires, and massive four-wheel disc brakes also combine to give it a great feel and performance on the road. We also learned that Impala enjoys a well-earned reputation for safety, with a five-star frontal crash test rating for the driver and front passenger from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And of course, a host of comfort and convenience features make Impala cruising both fun and luxurious. Our final presentation was on the winningest nameplate in NASCAR history, Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Under the hood, we again saw a choice of V6 engines. Monte Carlo LS features the 180 horsepower 3400. And Monte Carlo SS features the 3800 that delivers 200 horses and 225 foot-pounds of torque. As you'd expect, Monte Carlo uses a fully independent suspension, 16-inch wheels and tires, and huge four-wheel disc brakes to help translate a little bit of the track into everyday driving pleasure. But that spirited driving performance doesn't come at the expense of safety. Monte Carlo has also earned a five-star frontal crash test rating for the driver and passenger from NHTSA. And inside, you'll find great sound systems, including the availability of XM satellite radio and a list of comfort and convenience features too long to mention. So it was definitely an information-packed hour, just as we promised at the outset. And that's about all the time we have for today. We do hope you feel your time was well spent and that you've had a chance to become more familiar with three great names in the American automotive marketplace, Malibu, Impala, and Monte Carlo. I'd like to personally thank Jim Campbell for joining us. And on behalf of the entire Chevy midsize team, thanks to all of you for watching today's broadcast. Le peloton entre dans la ville, ils ne sont plus très loin de la ligne d'arrivée. Deux grands champions, Bornet et Stiefel, se battent l'un contre l'autre. Ils sont en tête, mais qui va gagner Bornet, Stiefel, Stiefel, Bornet, c'est très indécis. Ah, ça y est, la ligne d'arrivée est en vue. Et Gordon Je n'ai jamais vu une course aussi excitante. Gordon Mais c'est Jeff Gordon Jeff Gordon dans sa chambre Chevy Monte Carlo, wherever there's a winner's circle, we'll be there.